did you know that you can duplicate your voice using artificial intelligence and it comes out completely realistic and not weird at all? You can just type in words and automatically generate a voiceover recording. You never have to turn on the microphone. Stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how to do it. I'm James Archer and I make videos about making videos. In this episode, I wanted to tell you about a remarkable service called Resemble AI. This app lets you clone your voice by training artificial intelligence. Once you've trained it, all you have to do is give it a script to read and it'll read it in your voice. However, it's possible that the theory is better than the execution. Their website shows some really fantastic examples of AI voiceovers. They even include some celebrity voiceovers. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? He said both China and Ukraine should look into Mr. Biden, a Democratic presidential frontrunner, and his son. Prepare for your death. It is closer than you think. However, the really interesting part is that it'll let you create your voiceovers using your own voice. All you have to do is type in some text and it'll read it for you as if you were reading it yourself. That's how it works in theory anyway. To train the ad, they give you a list of phrases to record. I wanted mine to be as high quality as I could get it, so I hooked up a microphone and recorded Resemble a system analyzed those recordings and used it to create an artificial intelligence version of my voice. And I think the results speak for themselves. Now, to be fair, spoken language is super complicated, so I'm actually amazed that they've gotten this technology as far as they have. And it's probably meant to be used for very short amounts of text, not for whole videos like I'm doing here. For example, if you realized you said the wrong word or left out a line in a voiceover or you just mispronounced someone's name, you can patch up a few words with this tool and it's unlikely anyone would notice. If you don't need to use your own voice, they also have three little voices that probably work a little better than my daddy has a voice here. Those could be great for short and simple voiceovers. Here are some examples of some of their pre-built voices in action. Ah, uh, you know I graduated top of my class in the Navy SEALs, and I've been involved in numerous secret raids on Al-Qaeda, and I have over 300 confirmed kills. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? I thought not. It's not a story the Jedi would tell you. Sodium, atomic number 11, was first isolated by Humphrey Davy in 1807. A chemical component of salt, he named it in a in honor of the saltiest region on Earth, North America. Obviously you probably wouldn't want to sit through a whole video with a voiceover like that. Even though I'm making you do that right now. But for short passages it could certainly work okay. I could see these being really useful for step-by-step -step instructional videos, for example. First, place the flux emitter on its side, flux intake at your right, with the main rotary collector on top. So I think resemble the AI as a great to the Resemble AI actually lets you tweak the details of how something is read so you can adjust the speech characteristics to your needs. Here, I'll show you. Happy birthday to you. Anyway, this is actually a really powerful tool for certain uses and I'm sure that the technology will continue to improve over time. Pretty soon we'll be able to get away with a lot of things using the devices. But once I heard how fanny some of these recordings, some of them,